Good morning. Hi, good morning. Sorry, I didn't see. I didn't. I thought it was by myself. I was trying to look at the coffee over there. Hi, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. I went to bed so late. I did not want to wake up. I was looking over there at my coffee over there. Good morning, Gloria. I'm just getting ready for work. I'm gonna show you guys how to use two two lipsticks to make your lips ivory, like uh, two different colors. So I'm gonna try to like really wrap it up. Good morning, Gloria. What are you guys doing? It's Friday party time. Uh, four day weekend. Um. I, ha I know I have told you guys to um, clean your, uh, this is, I just recommend it. I read about it. My fiance has been using it all his life and he has sensitive skin. So some people were not uh, sure about how to use this, the hazel, uh, witch hazel. Um, you can clean your face, even you can clean your makeup with it. Um, hi, Reben, how, good morning. Um, you can clean your, you can clean your makeup, but the best way, I mean, the way that I do it, you can do whatever you want. like. But the way that I do it, you know, the step, like how do I clean my face? So you can even remove your makeup, uh, put it, uh, my face is already clean. I took a shower this morning, I swear I did. Um, I did take a shower. Um, what you're gonna do is just clean your face if you have makeup, remove all the makeup, remove all the stuff in your face. Uh, you are gonna clean bare. Um, so put some in your in your pad and you're just gonna clean your face with it. Okay, you can even remove makeup with it But it's actually even great to put, uh, clean your face before you put your makeup Because it's gonna open your pores, but not totally open and it's just kind of like make you make a whole uh, Buenos dias Rosemary, good morning Hi Wendy, good morning so I'm gonna do it as quickly as I can. So, uh, but I wanted to show the steps. So you clean your face with this. You wanna put you wanna put some moisturizer if your skin. Remember, this is not a, a moisturizer. This this is not a. Um, this is to clean your face, and it's gonna help you tiny tie your face, uh, tie your face, and it just it does so many wonderful things. Go read about it. You know how the like the wrinkles start getting under your eye. Well, you can start using this to tighten your skin. So you're gonna do what I do. It is I clean it. I let it sit for a little bit. Sorry, I'm talking so fast today. So fast um, because it's gonna be a really quick. I hope so. <laughs> Amanda, good morning. Yes, I have a few questions. I don't wear makeup but I want to start wearing lipstick and dry wear eyeliner. Okay, what color lipstick do you recommend? Uh, what's, what color of skin do you have? Are you, what nationality are you? Inexpensive makeup. You know, Milani is very inexpensive and it, they don't have like a really bad smell like if you buy a, like a cheap lipstick, but if you don't wear makeup, um, I'm sure you you take care of your skin and stuff like that. So, um, the best thing I mean is to take care of your skin and just wear like moisturizers. Wear things that it's gonna help you from the sun for you not to get black spots all over like this. I went to the pool five time uh, five years ago. I know I repeat that, but I'm just letting you guys know the sun could leave you a big spot. So um, something very inexpensive, like if you're in a really low budget. Um, Walmart has Milani, uh, that brand right there. I really like that brand. It's inexpensive. Do not go to the Walgreens or CBS because I compare the prices. Well, uh, when I go to Walmart, I notice it's cheaper. The Milani is cheaper at Walmart than, uh, than, than CBS or Walgreens. Even they have like those brands there, but it's, I feel like it's a little bit more. 
Um, I have a Milani lipstick that I really like. Um, I like the colors. Um, it kind of sets, you know, like the new style stuff. Um, and they have different colors. Um, this one's really nice. A lot of you guys like it. Um, it's, it kind of like dries out. I mean, it's kind of weird because you can't really kiss it like your husband or your boyfriend, you know. Uh, but it kind of dries out. I really like natural uh, lips or something that is not going to leave stains. Um, moisturizer. Uh, if you don't wear makeup, just try to dress your eyes. Eyeshadow, uh, mascaras, uh, and, and uh, lip gloss is good. And you look natural. Well, we all look natural. <laughs> Uh, yes, very true. Yeah, yeah, yes. Hi, Daisy. Denisha, good morning. Andrea, good morning. So, I'm going to stop cleaning my pool moisturizer. Please, pool moisturizer, if your face is uh, very uh, uh, dry, because this, it makes it a little bit drier, okay? it's My face is super dry, but because I use my moisturizer, um, it doesn't it doesn't affect me at all good morning Andrea Anisha, good morning sorry I'm talking so fast I haven't even drink my coffee yet you guys like my shirt oh my god you guys cannot see it I bought it like at the antique store I guess some, I think I think some lady made made this made that shirt, and there was three different ones, and I bought it like I think I paid ten bucks. See, it's super cute. I like it. So it kind of matches with my tattoo. Okay. So please put moisturizer moisturizer before you put your makeup. Okay, usually I do this off camera so I don't waste time, but I'm just showing you the steps. Clean your face, put some moisturizer, put some primer to, pre to prevent, uh, put some, pr the primer just kind of help you for the makeup not to get it like right inside your pores or anything like that. So primer is really, 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 really important. I did not know how important it was. Okay, we're gonna add some primer. I, I use I use the Glorious Face Eye Makeup Primer from Unique. It's super soft. I want, you only need like a little tiny bit, and then you just like boop, 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 boop. Good morning, Elena. Hey, girl. How are you? So my face feels super soft right now and it feels like a little bit tighter. It doesn't feel saggy, it doesn't feel like anything else. It just feels really soft. So clean it, moisturizer, primer, then your makeup. I know it sounds like a lot of steps and I used to think that way. It's too much step, I don't want to do it. Just give me a soap and water. But uh, I start... I put the bricks because I just noticed I'm getting uh, wrinkles under my eyes. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? So, no, you have to take care of your skin. If you start earlier, uh, you're in your 20s, then imagine when you get like 40, you're going to be like a freaking hot, badass bitch, you know? Like, it look like 20 years old. So, my primer, okay? Um, it's up to you like to do your eyebrows. I don't know. Some girls don't do their eyebrows. Some they do. Um, I do like to do my eyebrows and clean them at least when I'm going to go like very little makeup. Today we're going to do more very fast natural looking. Hi Wendy. What do you clean your face with? Um, which hazel? To make my skin tighter. Mm -mm. Okay, to do your eyebrows, I, I I did another. I talked about it Monday, I think it was uh, about eyebrows. 
I only talk about eyebrows that Monday. I'll use a really stirred uh, brush. It's really good to distribute product. Or you can use a pencil. Okay? Just, I think my pencil, I run out. I'm not... I think I run out. So if you run out, you can use an uh, eyeshadow. Yeah, which hates so, which hates so. Thank you, Rabbit. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that's just the, that's the uh, steps that you have to take um, to clean your face. Like I said, I do it off camera just for time, for timely matter. So, oh man, I wish I would have the pen because the pen, my pen is super, 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 super faster. Oh well. Oh well. Use what I have. Uh, my pen ran right out, so I can't use the pen. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm just looking at my bag. So, let's do some eyebrows. Yeah. Um, let me see, do, do, do. sorry about that. I thought I had my pen, but no, I'm gonna use this dark brown. It's called fourth, the right, I don't know, it's like that. It's brown, dark brown. So dark brown is always, uh, it's kind of like from my color probably like to really dark, dark skin, like try to use the brown. Without taking off the excess, of the product i'm just like tapping it like this this is remember this is really hard brush so it's gonna grab a lot of product okay so just tap it right there okay hi angela buenos dias i had thank you lena i have a lot of hair a lot of hair yes so i'm gonna just go in the bottom I know eyebrows are really hard, like super hard, and then like push it up, distribute, push up your product, fill in your eyebrows, and then you're gonna have extra product on it, so you're gonna like start filling it in. I hope you guys could see it. And then just brush it in right here on the front, like so it kind of start fading in. When I take my time and do my eyebrows, like they come out really good. But when I'm in a rush, I feel like they don't they don't do their best. But there's another way, you know. The like this is another way to do it. Or you can use a uh, a cream. I didn't like that cream so much because it kind of dry out really bad. So I just I didn't like it that much. Yes, I use the unique stuff. But I use the eyeshadow though. Cause the palettes are like uh forty-nine dollars. So I, I use the I use the, I use it very wisely and it's like you know you get a lot of product, but I you know you have to use it very wisely if you're gonna spend that much in a palette. So find use for it. That's what I do. And it's okay if you go outside, even if it looks crazy, you can use your uh, brush. You're gonna use your brush to clean your eyebrows. I'm sorry if I missed your comment. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hi, Nancy, good morning. Good morning. What are you guys up to? It's a four day weekend, right? Uh, we have Monday, I think. I have Monday off, I think. So I just, I go from the bottom, like, and then I like blend it up, like blend all the eyeshadow 
throughout my eyebrows, whatever shape you're working with. The power of makeup, right? There's no such thing of ugly woman. There's just like such thing of um, ¿Cómo se dice arreglada? Mala arreglada. I need some music. Why are you guys up so early? Sorry, the eyebrows takes a little bit longer, so I'm trying to hear you up and show you the other stuff because I want to get to the lips really quick. Sorry, sorry. And you want to use a gel? I use the Maybelline Brown Drama uh, gel to seal my, um, at the end after I clean them. After you clean them, you can put the gel, okay? Very gentle. It's a brown gel. It has a little bit tinted. So I help you to stay. My eyebrows will stay on all day. We're talking about from 5.30 in the morning when I do my makeup to like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. I look at it and it's always there. So it's always stay there. Making breakfast for my, aw. Well, good morning, Jessica. Good morning. You're such a good wife. So make sure always, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to use my concealer, my concealer. I'm going to just place it on my hand. Gracious Lord, where is my eyebrow cleaner? <laughs> no. My daughter helped me to organize my makeup. Um, yesterday so that's why I'm looking around it's like wait a minute wait a minute one second I'll be right back all right what's over there so grab your foundation or your primer whatever you have available and you can clean your eyebrows And use your brush you can use your brush see the other end has a brush in this little set I bought it with a um, Milani little set that is a Walmart but I only bought it because I wanted this brush you want a really hard end and like really <laughs> oh my gosh um, like see really 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 like stiff like so it came with this for like six bucks I did use this for a couple of days. Uh, I, I didn't like it. It got dry and it just kind of like got patchy. But I'm sure there's a way you can add things to it so it doesn't like, you know, you can fix it up and work with it. Uh, but I prefer this way that I'm doing it. And everybody's going to do it differently, you know, like you cannot find your own way to do it. Like, I'm sure all of you guys do it like different. So this paint, I use a paint brush. Hi, Krista, good morning. Oh my God, you get up at four o'clock in the morning to cook lunch, breakfast, and my, oh my goodness. Oh. I get up just to get ready and feed all my animals and that's it. The kids, I just tell them to go make their own lunch. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. But as long as you love it. So you can push up. If you're not sure about like going going straight at it, um you can push put your brush. Well I'm using the pen brush, so really thick. You can find it um uh, Hobby Lobby or um Michaels. They have really good paint brushes, but I like I I don't remember how much I spent for the set, and I really like this one to apply to clean my eyebrows. 
it's really useful actually it's really useful but you know everybody uses their own tool you're gonna find like you're gonna improvise improvise any tool that you have available yes i don't i don't know that sounded good for you sounded good <laughs> yes i struggled to get up i i need my coffee i have not had coffee today so i'm sorry if i'm rambling Uh, but you're gonna clean this sucker, you know, gonna clean it. And what I do is, since I already using a primer, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye with it. Like, I just bring it all the way down, so I'm doing two things all at once. Um, I don't wanna wait and do it later. Good morning, Ver Veronica. Good morning. I know you guys tired of seeing me. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I like you guys too much. Okay. So, you're gonna like, just push it out. You guys are probably tired of seeing me. Got up by 30, same for my husband. Oh, that's a good wife. You guys really good. That's very good. I think if I will stay home, uh, if like if I like yeah, if I stay home, which hopefully I wanted to have another child, but before before my urethra or my women part die, um, if you ever stay home. I think I would do the same thing. Get up early, cook some lunch. I mean, I don't do nothing right now. So I have it really nice. If he's hungry, he cook himself. Like if I'm busy because I work, we both work. So, uh, <laughs> so he makes his own sandwich. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. You guys are so awesome. That's the way you should be. Like, that's the way. If you don't work and you stay home, that's the best you could do. Like, just to make them feel special. Once in a while, I make lunch for my husband. Well, it's, it's my fiance, it's not my husband yet. Yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, but he's really good, so. He's a keeper. Oh, you're not tired of seeing me. So, Sam, so I'm, I'm right here already. So I'm gonna add some concealer under my eyes because I like to conceal my under my eyes. Because in the morning, like I'm so swollen. Like I think it's good to put a bag of eyes if you're home, and if you have like you know you tired, you just like have so much going on. It's okay to lay back and put a bag of eyes in your face. It kind of help you with the swelling. Or you've been crying. Um, also, you know, because when you cry, it's just kind of like everything swell up and it just kind of gets irritated. Um, so just sit back, clean your face, put a bag of eyes. So I'm just putting concealer. I'm sorry I look so weird. So I'm going to cover whatever like stuff I don't want. Um, I'm just repeating this because some people might not know how to use a concealer or, or they never like, they don't put makeup on or they want to learn. So that's why I'm just, I repeat myself all the time because I get these questions all the time and which is normal. Okay. I didn't know at one point. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Betty. Good morning. Hi, Daisy. Oh, you up early, Daisy. You are awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Mona Lisa. Oh, no, I do. It's a, it, I remember you told me it was not your name. Okay, I'm glad you guys like the videos and, and the way I explain it because, like, that's what I want. I want you, like, if you never wear makeup, like, learn. So, 
I use, you can use your foundation, you, know, you can use your concealer. If you have nothing to cover, like if you don't have, if your skin is really good and you, you take care of your skin, it's good. And most girls that they don't wear makeup, they do take care of the skin. So you don't need a lot of concealer like me. Like I'm just putting a lot of concealer because there's a lot going on in there, okay? <gasps> you on your way to Tennessee? Why well, uh, I use this concealer, which I use it as a concealer, mineral touch skin perfection uh, by Unique. Uh, inbox me if you. Uh, I'm on Facebook if you're not my friend on Facebook, uh, and inbox me if you want another link for this uh, concealer. This concealer is really, really good. It should last you if you use it like see five days a week. Uh, and only for you. Um, I use a, you sh it should last you like nine months to 10 months, okay? This this little thing, because it's really pasty. And when you clean your eyebrows, you want something very pasty, not watery. So, uh, Daisy, are you going to Tennessee? I like 20 minutes. Oh, bye, have fun, have fun. I wish I could go on a road trip. I want to go somewhere. Have a safe drive, Daisy. She's not driving, right, Daisy? Her husband is driving. So tell her to drive safe. Um, I was able to meet Daisy one of these days. I went to her house, and I meet her baby and her husband. Um, you might want to give your son a, a day quill <laughs> so he can leave you alone. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, I want the product. I want the product. This one. I mean, if you don't have, like, I think this is a good investment. Like, even if you cannot get found more foundations and stuff, but concealer is very good. Look at this concealer. I use it uh, on my clients. I use one like this on my clients, and it lasts me five months. Even me included using it. So it should last you like ten months. So. Look at this concealer. Uh, I sh I think I showed you guys yesterday. Look at this. Like, look, they use it. It help you to cover tattoos cores. You know, like this one, it doesn't have any uh, like a thicker, darker outline. Uh, if you have a darker tattoo, of course, it's gonna take more than one layer. Oh, thank you, Dulce. Uh, I'm from Nicaragua. I'm sorry, English is my second language. So if I say something like. It, I don't know, it means something else. I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend anybody or say something weird. So I'm just letting you guys know. Sign a form over here. So, let's do the concealer. Ugh. Sorry, I get rambling. Come to San Antonio. Oh, man. I like San Antonio. I do like it. It's so cute. Little town. I just love you. You know, I, um, I gotta say, I never really, like, I always been this way. I, I'm super goofy. Um, like I'm just goofy, um, but I never really show people my my real side because like you don't know what they're gonna say, you don't know, and I just always like you know back. But I always since I kind of like raise a little bit on myself, so <laughs> my mom would leave us, so I would do everything by myself. I would walk to go to school. I would go sign myself up to school. So it's just kind of like life made me this way, I think. So. Uh, I think that's that's why I'm this way. And you always have to. That's why I always like try to tell you guys: be confident in everything you do. Uh, when you go to interview, it's a perfect example. Okay, every time I go in an interview, I get that job because you know why? Because you have to be confident. You have to sound that you know what you're talking about, even if you don't. You have to. You have to be confident of yourself, even if you like dying, shaking like a chihuahua inside. You have to be confident in everything you do in your relationship. Um, you know, you don't want to like, how can I say it's not, we humans, I'm not saying like, don't show you weakness, but as a woman, it's like nowadays, like we do so much that it's just kind of like, you're already that way. You're already like, 
I think you're already that way. And when you find that something that makes you happy, nothing around you is gonna matter. Like nothing. Like that's how I feel at this point in my life. Like I feel so happy and confident on who I am and where I am right now at this point in my life that like I don't care what people think. So I'm just gonna talk. I'm gonna be myself. You know? <gasps> Betty, you better rock that interview. You walk in there, you walk confident with your head up, say, you know, I could do this. Even if you don't know, don't ever say, I don't know how to do this. When they ask you, um, every interview they ask you, uh, what is your weakness, like your weaknesses? And always choose something that, always say, follow up with, but I am doing this to improve it. But um, I am working on it to improve it. We're still working on it. So don't ever say anything negative of yourself. Don't ever say anything. Don't start talking about your personal life when they ask you about, tell me about yourself. Don't start saying, oh yeah, I have a Facebook account. I have an Instagram account. I have, um, I like my, uh, long walks in the beach. That's not what they're asking you for. <laughs> so be that when they ask you, when they ask you that, it's like, what? Tell me something about yourself. Well, I'm a hard worker. I work with people. I you telling you qualities is very important uh, about work. You know, work related. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, no problem, Betty. Good luck, girl. I know you're gonna rock this. You're gonna like go in there and kick butt. Thank you. Oh, I'm looking for my foundation. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep rambling. And I haven't even drank my coffee yet. See what you guys make me do? What you make me do? <laughs> oh my goodness. But... I don't know, I was, I was just gonna talk about something today and I totally forgot. I totally forgot. So we're just gonna put a little bit of foundation. Just just one coat. Um, I was gonna do a video tonight. I was not gonna go in the morning, but I decided what the hell I have to go in the morning because I think we have some, uh, we got some friends over tonight. Um, so if they come over, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a makeup video. And then I have to clean my house, you know, like, you know, I'm one of those, like I clean it every day, but we have so many pets that we like, I like it extra clean when company comes. So it's like this time to throw, to throw your, <laughs> to throw all your junk under your bed. I'm just joking. But you know what I mean? It's time to throw everything in the closet. I'm just joking. I just like my house extra clean and extra organized uh, if somebody's coming over. That's all. For some reason, like, because I have a new brush, the new brushes, they eat you makeup. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about new brushes <laughs> because uh, they will eat you makeup. So what I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna do, see it's like e my makeup, it didn't even put it on. So I think I'm gonna have to clean it really good and use it maybe wet, um, use a wet brush. You're, oh, Katrina, thank you so much. I'm not awesome. Uh, you guys, you guys, uh, you guys are the one awesome. I I love doing videos for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, I get tons of inbox and my inbox is, it blows up after like during the day asking me questions and I do my best to answer you guys uh, the best that I can. But that's because you guys trust me. So I thank you guys for that. So we're gonna put a little bit more foundation because the brush eat the whole foundation. Uh, 
I use in this foundation, this one right here. I use the Unique and I mix it with my BB cream because I have a really dry skin. So if you have a really dry skin, um, I noticed that a lot, of a lot of places are selling BB creams. BB creams, they don't give you a full coverage. It's just, uh, they have a really good moisturizer. Well, at least this one, it takes care of your skin. Like it gives you a really good, nice, um, like, like moisturizer, you know, like because your face is really dry. So I'm doing this again because like I noticed that my new brush in my whole makeup so I think the first thing is like to do is just like wet them but I'm gonna use a different brush for this you can use the beauty blenders use a beauty blenders you know a broken beauty blender if you have a lot of pores and you have a lot of uh, like see like uh, you know like uh, stuff that you want to cover a broken beauty blender it help you fill in all those stuff so that's just a tip for today use a broken beauty blender to if you to fill in your pores if you have like a big pores or you don't feel that you are covering something up you got two pumps they have full Your fingers are a really good tool too, okay? Don't think that you have to... Uh, fingers are really good tools. Toby, what are you doing? Get down. He's laying on the couch. Yes. So, Broken Beauty Blender is really good to fill them your pores or areas that you want to cover or you conceal in. Uh, if you're not on my Facebook fr uh, friend, just add me if you want. If you like this video, if you like the tutorials, I do more crazy videos there. So you can have a laugh with me. And that's just me. I'm just, really, I'm just joking around. Okay. So we just put one coat of foundation. I'm gonna do it a little bit different today. I'm gonna put uh, some pressed powder. You put a foundation like a normal. I'm gonna conceal that. Um, wash your brushes. Wash your brushes, don't share your brushes. Because that's how you get like breakouts in your face. Um, yeah, he got back on the couch. Pinche pendejo. He's over there chilling, chilling like a villain. Oh, enjoying the sunny morning. Oh, I'm Toby. I'm joining the sunny morning. Nobody listens to me in this house. <laughs> Until I get my chancleta out and I'll start screaming. Get that down on the couch. <laughs> and then they actually listen, the dog and the kids. See, I'm telling you, the power of the chancleta. If you don't have kids, you will know what I'm talking about when you got kids. Pinche <laughs> pendejo. He eats my couch. But he's the baby over here. Like they're like, they cover my stuff. I'm trying to decorate the living room, and I got the couch on January. By February, they have two holes because they're chewing on it. They don't let me like they don't let me decorate or anything. You know, my ear inches fall. I called it. I called it like that. But I, I, I they're like the, they're like ba there are babies over here, like. They're so sweet. They're like big babies. But that don't hurt their feelings, so, you know. Toby, look over there. He's just like chilling in the couch. Toby, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? 
Why are you on the couch again? Don't look at me like that. I'm from Nicaragua, so, but, but that's a saying that I keep, uh, I heard like, like I think like pinches. I like Mexican, they say like squinklers, squinklets, like for the children, and like we say like chavalos, you know. Oh, he just got comfortable, you know, like, oh, whatever. I don't care what you want. I do what I want. So I'm just putting some lighter highlight over here on my concealer uh, because I'm trying to make my face narrow, more narrow. Let's put the hair up. It's kind of bothering me. Okay. I'm putting some like concealer over here to make it lighter. I know this is too much makeup. I said I was gonna go light, but you know me, like, I don't know. I just like start putting on layers and layers and I... Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, little pranks. Yeah, man, they're, they're just little pranks, spoiled brats. Uh, what we call the uh, children. Like cipote or like chavalos. <laughs> oh my god. I used to think like why people would like like treat their pets like like their kids. Why? Like I don't care. And I was like, because I didn't want to have no pets. I didn't want like to get attached to a pet that it could die and then it could go away. And I'm just like, no, I'm not having no pets. I'm using the, uh, I don't use it as much, just once in a while. I'm using the Trio Contouring. I love contouring. I love, love, love. Oh my God, today I'm gonna go live in my group just to explain about the bronzer and like I'm gonna put bronze in my arms and explain like um, what can you do. Okay, see, there's different type of brushes, like I told you guys yesterday, if, you were, if you're if you not here. Uh, a very soft brush, a very soft, uh, is really good for the cream contouring. Um, and for the, uh, there's another different type of brush for your powders contouring. Okay, yesterday I did a little bit of contouring with the powder, and you guys saw the big difference. So contouring, what it does is just take pounds off your face. If you want to look skinnier, leaner, it's just show your, your beauty. You know, the same way I have two dogs, they are amazing. They're just like babies. Like, I give up. They're just like babies. And I, I don't think I could be without them now that I have them. Um, I was washing my car, and the thing, they all follow me. Like, I didn't, like, only Toby's the one that it was adopted. We went to the shelter, and... Chris adopted him and well we all were there uh, but Rocco I was washing my car outside and he came to me and he's like oh, help me I'm hot I'm hungry oh, help so I give him we give him a bath feed him he slept like for 12 hours like this with his like balls up and everything uh, and then he stayed he never left punk ass dog uh, then we adopted him, then I found some cats outside, uh, they were babies, so we fed them bottle for like five weeks, so I can't like give them away, you know. Yeah, uh, Raven just, her dog just have a, she, she has a chihuahua, and her chihuahua just have babies, and I think she was trying to find people to, to take them, right Raven? They were so cute, the babies. Oh, my dog's name is Rocco, too. Same name. Awesome. They're probably crazy. That's why we call them Rocco. He's so... Oh, my God. He think he's the boss of everything. So, placement is really important. I know we start talking about dogs. Placement is really important, and if you put a lot in this side, like I did right now, look at this, look at that. 
you can't put too much because I was talking, I was not paying attention. Um, you can always take the excess with your beauty blender. Okay, so look. Ta, ta, and you do a little curve. If you have like an oval or round face like me, it's really like, it's okay to do like this motion right here. I mean, we all have different shapes, like I tell you guys all the time. And it's about the placement, you know? Contouring is all about the placement. You got four, aww. Yeah, Raven has four boys and one girl, and one girl. So, I'm gonna contour my nose. And what you're gonna do is just start, start blending it down like so. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just just blend, okay? We're gonna just blend, 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 blend. I forgot to get my water uh, my for my beauty blender, so I'll be right back. Uh, you want two more dogs, problem, pepper. No, I do not want more dogs, no. This house it has enough bed already. No, I have to, we have to clean every like single day. It's it's crazy. We don't get a break. Like just if you take a bed, like just remember it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So you're gonna have two beauty blenders, one side for your dark. You don't have to have two, but you know. One for your darker areas and one for your lighter areas. Um, I'm doing this because um, then I could touch it up later on uh, because we have visitors. Then I could touch it up later um, and then my makeup will be done. I don't have to like put makeup again. And you're gonna blend in your light with your dark. Yes, I did earlier and it fell and I like, like right there. So I'm gonna put it back. Is that better? <laughs> it's a lot of work. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm having a baby forever. Okay. So I call you guys mom. If you have a, a dog and you take care of it, and no, that's like a baby forever. Toby is a big baby. He's still growing. He's only one year old and he wants to sit in your lap. So what you're gonna do is just blend, okay? You wanna blend it into you like what you see, okay? You don't wanna leave a big black spot either. So there's different things you can use to uh, do contouring, okay? Beauty blenders are your best friend. I love the beauty blenders. Um, I go to the beauty supply store close to my house and some of the $3.99. And they're like the original brand and they're really good. It's like beauty supply store, you know, where they sell makeup and they sell like fake hair and stuff. I like to go to those places because I found like really good like a uh, liquid eyeliner or like I found like some new stuff or they're on sale. You want to try it before you go buy it. Oh God. Yeah, there's this like hair everywhere. And that's the thing. My hair falls all over the house, so <laughs> I think I shed more than the dogs because I have so much hair. And when I'm cleaning, like there's hair everywhere. I don't know why. Okay. I'm gonna use some uh, 
I'm gonna use some powder to seal it because I use creams. If you use creams, make sure you use a set powder. Um, there's, oh my God, this powder broke all over, oh my goodness. You wanna use a set powder to set your foundation, okay? And I'm using a, a mineral touch pressed powder um, only if you wanna, if you only wanna put just the uh, powder to seal it on top of it, you can do so, or you can do it very gentle and careful. Uh, if you contour, it's very different when you apply the uh, the powder. Okay, you just gonna apply the light on the light area, so it kind of define your work, like what you did for contouring. That's what you're doing. And then under your eyes, I will add another powder that it helps you seal your pores and it make it look so soft. So when you take pictures, uh, you don't need filters because it looks so awesome and you look like, look like a professional picture. Where is my powder? Oh, there it is. I use it set for baking powder. I haven't buy another one because I wanted to try this one. And you're only you're supposed to use a little bit, like very little. Like it tells you the directions. It says that use very little. Um, <laughs> Get your hair every day. It fails too. I have a lot of hair. It's hard to manage. It takes longer, actually. Believe me, you don't want to wish to have a lot of hair. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Do, do, do. Tomorrow night, I'm doing Pancho. Um, tomorrow night after 8.30. It's super funny. It started as a joke, but everybody loves it. And so I will do it again. Okay, uh, tomorrow night after 8.30 is after our talk. So be careful, don't put your kids there. I don't want to traumatize them. So you can at least leave it for five, uh, no, no more, well, at least five minutes, okay? At least five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. So I'm looking for a really easy eyeshadow because... I'm running out of time. <laughs> yes, my hair is like, if, I don't know, like if I don't brush it and then I brush the next day, like I guess it's because it's like it breaks out. So I have to be like very careful. Use a big comb and stuff. It looks like a horse hair. Like it's so thick. Horse's hair. Sorry. Uh, 8.30, I hear I'll be doing, it's like, um, I dressed up as you, Sancho, and I do makeup on the viewers. I already have requests, I already have volunteers already from you guys, so you guys could be once a month with me. I could do your makeup life, and you be having some fun. We already did this two weeks ago, and you guys loved it, and you guys wanted some more Sancho cochinas. Um, so, you guys really love it, so you will love it. Okay? You will love Sancho. And then, um, it's really fun. It's just girl talk, and you will have some fun. But it's after our talk, okay? When your babies are asleep. 8.30 tomorrow. Yes, actually, everybody really liked it. It's just for fun. And so Sancho will put makeup life on the viewers, one of you guys. So I, for the first time, I will probably be meeting some of you viewers. They're going to be here at my house um, live. I'm going to be doing your makeup live, whoever comes. Looking for my bronzer. Oh, there it is. Okay. I like to use my bronzer right on top of the uh, darker areas where I did my contouring to kind of set my contouring in place. So what I do is like you can use a small brush 
Or you can use a very fluffy brush, okay? Very, very little, like not a lot, okay? Very little, you're gonna use very, very little. I like to use my fluffy brush. Yes, at my house. Cochina, chicas. Man down, man down. These earrings are good friend of mine gave them to me on my birthday and I love them. And um, I always lose the back, so I'm using like all the earrings back and they keep falling. My 30th birthday, yeah, she gave it to me on my 30th birthday and I love them. And uh, I lose the back of my earrings, like, like all of them. Like, I don't understand. I guess I don't keep track of those things. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hi, Iris. How are you, girl? You up early today? I uh, got here late. I have major problems with uh, under eye bags. Concealer, girl. Conceal those puppies. This concealer is really good. Um, also, clean your face. If you look at the beginning of the video when I'm over, when I'm done, I explain how to clean your face. To start making it look tighter and tighter so you look like you have a Botox with like four dollar bottle okay so let's just stop it a little bit this is a uh, bronze so I'm just gonna add bronze right on top of my dark um, contour so I'm just adding bronze because it's just gonna make it look so soft like my face is gonna look very soft Okay, I have a lot of pores, okay? I have a lot of pores, I already sealed them. That's why you use those powders to seal your pores. Uh, yes, uh, Elizabeth, I hope I answered your question. What side of town are you? I am West Side Houston, uh, going to Katie. Jerry, um, Mona Lisa, I know you told me your name before. I know your name is not Jerry, because I think that's your husband's name. Mona Lisa, okay. Yes, I know you're a big cochina, okay? Mm. So, tomorrow night, then you can leave your cochina side. That's what I'm saying. But anyhow, I'm gonna do my lips really quick. So, you're gonna do a coat. I'm gonna use two lip stains. These lip stains stay on, on, on my lips all day long. Well, not all day long. If you're eating lunch and you're eating food on it, it might come off a little bit in the, in the middle. Um, but this is what I do. You're gonna put, this is purple and it's savvy and skittish. Okay, savvy and skittish. I'm gonna mix them together so I could give you some dark lips. So I'm gonna do a, one cut. Yeah, and then we talk kind of not dirty, but yes, dirty a little bit tomorrow night. Sorry, I can't talk very well because uh, I'm letting my uh, liquor eyeliner to dry. The first cut, let it dry. Oh! I will be watching and you don't mind sending me shots husband tomorrow away. Yes, I will. Ah, I'm gonna, what's his name? Oh, Jerry. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with you. I mess with each of you. That's all the, the show is about. Like, so don't be embarrassed if I be messing with you guys tomorrow. So, okay. And your husband's gonna be like, um, so a lady told me that, uh, it's like, they were, they were laughing so loud and she's like, whoa, I'm your only central. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to do tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, Iris. Yeah, I get up at five. Yeah, you up early, girl. So I did that first code. Um, 
okay then you can do I'm gonna use this skittish right in the middle right here okay then go a second coat do a second coat what bottle? This one's uh what bottle? Oh, okay. Have a dirty. Oh, yes. We're gonna do our dirty laundry. Just joking. So, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will go wild. That's the only way I do it. I gotta watch you I have you too Rosemary yeah it's much funnier I think because they're not expecting anything like that and you're not gonna expect it so it's just gonna be funny don't tell me your husband's watching right now because and then I'm gonna be like ur, ur, ur. but just tell me like uh, hey shout out to so and so and then like if you want me to I don't know I don't care whatever you want yeah so you cannot put Eight thirty, okay. So I'm doing like um you know, you just put the dark like whatever you like, whenever you satisfy. When you ever satisfy yeah. Uh here. And at the end, I just, I did like three coats, I think, a little bit more, because I want them dark. And you put in the pink, called skittish, in the middle, and it's kind of dry. <laughs> Rosemary is ready. She's like, let's do this. Let's do this. I think some girl was like, I wish you were real. I was like, it was just funny. And and after I did the video, I got a lot of messages saying, where is Sancho, where is Sancho, where is Sancho? So now like everyone wants to see Sancho. I'm like, okay, fine. So this is the color you're gonna get uh, using the two lip stains, so just let it dry. They're not lipstick, so don't rub your lips with it. Okay, you're just gonna be, you use very little and very gentle, and just let it dry. Ah. Where do you get those? If you want, if you want to know where to get those, uh, inbox me. I'll go to my group. Uh, but inbox me, and I like tell you where to get them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take off your powder. Look, and they're gonna dry. And I'm gonna show you that they don't like. You can like they're not gonna stain anything. You can drink coffee. You know, like sometimes you don't wanna wear lipstick because it's gonna get all over. Rosemary's fire up. Oh my goodness, I am girl. I am getting ready because tomorrow is that day. And I cannot wait. I am super excited. And I'm only gonna do it once a month. Um, I'm using our, um, this inexpensive highlighter, uh, Physician Formula. I think I, uh, I like to rip, I don't know, I really like to rip it myself. Um, yes, and there's seven, I have seven different colors, okay? And you can mix them up and you can add whatever you want. Okay, I'm just letting it dry so I could show you that awesome stuff that they do. So, the inexpensive highlighter, uh, if you don't wanna wear like for every day, you don't wanna wear your expensive highlighter that you wear like at the nightclub, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can wear this for like office or everyday, everyday look. So you wanna put your highlighter first before your 
um, before you uh, <clears throat> I can't even tell you before you blush. Okay. I think it's still a little bit dry because I put like three coats, but. So you can put you can put a little bit of highlighter right on top of your nose. You you can put it right here. We're gonna put it like to show the lips. There you go. Or you can go with your little brush and do this. You know, like just. Um. Then you you can stroke it back like so. Okay. Almost done. I promise. Like this. Then we're gonna put some blush. Okay, so this is the awesome stuff. Look. The lips stain. They stay on you like for like seven hours. Yes, baby. No, you're gonna stay here with Gabriel. I'm, I'm like, can I take you after? Uh, oh my god, my time. Okay, so, see? You can drink coffee. This is this is what everything started. You can kiss your husband, your boyfriend, your Sancho. See, that's where everything started. Yeah, so you can mix the colors and then it's not gonna stain your lips. It's not gonna like worry about like, do I have lipstick on my lips? Do I, you know. So, but you know, you get what I'm saying. I'm talking too much, I haven't even drink my coffee yet. Okay, so the blush goes after. Uh, it's your preference, but, you know, it's your preference, but I prefer you to put it after because you want the highlight in the background, okay? I'm trying to find, what the hell is it? oh yeah, my blush. Blush, 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 Let's hold on. Okay, I'm gonna use this. It looks like a summerish blush. This is a Milani uh, blush that I found that I really like the color because it looks like summerish. It's like a little bit more. And when you put your blush, if you round face like me, just like, just put a little bit. You don't need to put a lot, right? So we're just gonna put a little bit. Like this. Like just stroke it back. If you have longer face, you can do these motions, like round motions. But if you have like a, like a oval or round face, just try to like stroke back. Because remember, you did the contouring to make you look slimmer. Then with the uh, babysitter, a, a friend of mine. She's supposed to come here any minute, but she thought she was gonna go over there today and go in the pool because she wants to go in the pool, but she got burned. So I'm I'm using this, um, so I don't want her to go over there and go in the pool. She doesn't understand not to go in the pool anymore. She's dark, burned. So this is a hard candy glow. Um, it's another highlighter that you can use in your eyes. And it has the, the, I really like it because it has the blush and it has your highlighter right there. So what I do is like I do in the middle, I touch the middle and then uh, like I'm using it for to set my concealer under my eyes and they already highlight so I'm using it for my eyes already. You're doing two things all at once. And voila! Oh, thank you, uh, Rosemary. I hope it, I hope it helps you in any like way. 
I, I do that stuff like sometimes differently so you guys could like learn a different way and maybe like maybe that day that way you like it or you know because I do that sometimes if you watch somebody and then like oh am I like that like that little part then you complement it with your stuff and it just kind of you know hi Mary you like the color of the Los Labios so there's this is the lip stains I love this like I, I could mix them um and like you know this is not gonna just if you want dark lips i want it i don't want it to get everywhere on me like all my on my teeth or my coffee cup or you know what i'm saying so it doesn't get everywhere or at least it lasts me so this lasts it lasts me a while like a while i'm trying to find me my really good brush for my eyeshadow I'm gonna use this Pikmin purple okay this Pikmin is uh, purple it's also for unique but it's like purple like really purple so I'm gonna use it right here in the corner because I want something really dark to stand out So basically you're gonna have a highlight kind of pink in the background and you're gonna have and then I'm putting the purple which is gonna I want them to fade it in I don't want any lines you want to blend it in really well right after this I think I'm gonna have to do my eyes at work because I have to go after this uh, what I did with my pigment um, oh it's over there so these little pigments, I could make my own lipstick with those too. They're organic and you can mix them up with the uh, um, cocoa oil um, and then you can make your own lipstick with those too. Just like the natural ones though. I could do so much with them. So see. I'm gonna finish my eye work because I don't really have to like I'm just gonna touch it up later so I could tonight I don't have to do my makeup yes and then you can start little by little you can use a, uh, a straight line uh, like a business card is a good straight line Then you get this for a straight line. Most people are not going to show you a lot of this stuff step by step like I do. Um, see, but I try to teach you the best that I can, what I know. I also, I teach people privately sometimes. But you can get something to straight line and you got it, okay? So if you like, because I like the clean, you want the clean line. Also, if you don't have anything straight, you can always go back with the brush. That's another day I'm gonna have to explain you guys to use your brush and your concealer to clean it too. But that's another time. Uh -huh. Yeah. So even if I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go like this. Uh, later on, I will put a, you know, like a little bit more in my eyes. Uh, use a Q-Tex. Q-Tex are really, really, really good. It's your best friends. So you don't, you want everything faded in, like right here on the top. You don't wanna see lines. Okay, you wanna blend that in, okay? So, right here, this is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and like, you know, go, but try to blend it in. You don't want any lines, so very gentle, and you want the clean line right here, okay? So, very gentle. Very gentle. So, 
this is what you will see and I really like with my result and I got my purple lips I got my dark eye I will put some eyeliner later I could go to work like this I really don't care um, thank you so much uh, thank you thank you thank you and you know so tonight I would touch it on later on and you know but right now I'm just you know going back and forth working for four hours and then going back home so there is a short day I have to come back home and clean so I don't want to do this later so anyhow thank you so much for watching I hope you guys learned something today uh, thank you so much for being with me this morning um, I talk to you guys later okay if you miss any question I will go back and look at your comments and to make sure I didn't miss any questions thank you so much uh, J uh, Mona Lisa Thank you so much. So I'm glad you guys like it. So good friend. I love this. Love it. So thank you. Look at that. No stain. Look, no stain. That's what they call the lip stain. Bye guys. Have a great day. Have a blessed day too.